Microsoft Patent W O twenty twenty zero six zero six zero six. It's just a cryptocurrency system using body activity data. No big deal, R right? Greetings, comrades. Coming to you from down here, on Earth, in the laboratory. Looks like we have more dastardly deeds in the works. This patent was released in 2020 by Microsoft, having to do with tracking your body movements with cryptocurrency. Here it is, straight from the horse's mouth. Official patent by Microsoft, WO 2020-060606. Of course, they had to use that 060606 at the end. In Revelation 1318, it says, This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. That number is 666. I would say this one doesn't even call for much calculating. The number's right there, right in front of our faces. So let's use our wisdom and perhaps we can gain some insight. The Bible says in James 1.5, If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. I know I could use all the wisdom in these confusing times as I can get, but one thing to take in consideration while the enemy tries to confuse us up is also written in the Bible in 1 Corinthians 14.33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. So when we're feeling confused about a matter, we know it is not from God, and the enemy has his hand in something they're trying to trip us up. How do we defend against these attacks by the enemy, you might ask? Your faith. Your faith will defend against the attacks of the enemy. It is written in Ephesians 6.16, Above all, carry the shield of faith so that you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Faith is our shield. Let us keep the faith and finish this race. Here's some words from the patent. Human body activity associated with a task provided to a user may be used in a mining process of a cryptocurrency system. A server may provide a task to a device of a user which is communicatively coupled to the server. A sensor communicatively coupled to or comprised in the device of a user may sense body activity of the user. Body activity data may be generated based on the sensed body activity of the user. The cryptocurrency system communicatively coupled to the device of the user may verify if the body activity data satisfies one or more conditions set by the cryptocurrency system and award cryptocurrencies to the user whose body activity data is verified. Are you confused yet? Good, because so am I. I mean, I'm no rocket scientist, but it sounds like to me they want to be able to track our body motions and reward us with money or cryptocurrency. In just what sensors do they expect are going to be, let's say, implanted in us to be detecting our body activity constantly? And say one person works harder than the next, does that mean they will then reward the person who physically worked harder than the other person more money? Or does that mean they will take away from the person who physically didn't work as hard? And what if the person who didn't work as hard by the computer standards is physically handicapped? This sounds to me an awfully lot like a bunch of beast system mischief. All at the same time, we have digital currency outbreak throughout the entire world. We have hand chips to get you in and out of buildings and to log in and pay for things. You got the Neuralink brain chip. That's a thing. And if you didn't know, it is planned to be installed in the top of your forehead after removing a chunk of your skull. We have a bunch of idiots pretending to be experts, still gallivanting about, blathering on about a magic potion and safe and effective when we all know they're lying. 
We got drag queen brunch with the kids and after school Satan club. Little Tyke's Witch's Cauldron sold out last year for the parents who are interested in their toddlers practicing witchcraft. All of these are marvelous ideas said no sane person ever to exist. The bottom line is, they want to link us up. They want to link us up to the beast system. And I don't recommend doing that. It doesn't take an astrophysicist to connect these dots. Elon Musk literally built a machine for cutting a part of your skull out and putting these little dots in your head and connecting them to the internet. So as we see how that unfolds and progresses over time, let us take in consideration that back in 2020, they came out with a patent. Microsoft Patent WO 2020-060606. Cool story, Elon. Cool story, Microsoft. Try as you will. You will fail because Jesus wins. <laughs> <laughs>